Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's October 7th, and here's a look at news making headlines today. A mixed bag when it comes to the economic future of the Hub City. Economist Dr. Lauren Scott predicting Lafayette will replace about 9,200 jobs next year and another 2,100 in 2023. However, the city still falls behind others in the state when it comes to making a complete economic recovery. Scott says that's because of the reliance on the oil and gas industry. LIDA officials believe the projection is rightfully optimistic. Continued diversification, recruiting and attracting new businesses that will keep us afloat in future economic downturns, and also business retention and expansion and growing our existing businesses here. The Louisiana Workforce Commission has an additional $5 million to support IDA recovery efforts, that money coming from the Labor Department. LWC saying it plans to use the funds to put people to work as part of the rebuilding efforts after Hurricane Ida. The work available will be mostly focused on debris cleanup, distributing food, water, and other humanitarian aid, as well as other recovery efforts statewide. FEMA says it's assisting Hurricane Ida survivors at libraries in Iberia and St. Martin parishes. You can find the help at, your loca at the locations on your screen. That agency says the teams can aid people in registering or updating applications for FEMA assistance. The pumpkin patch in Lauraville is now open from 5 until 9 through Saturday. You can get a pumpkin, play games and more, but you'll have to schedule a time slot to head uh, over. You can do that online. It's being held at the Lauraville Park building on Ed Broussard Road. With Lauraville Community Project, we try and bring quality of life events to the community. So we love just getting the kids out here, getting the families out here and being involved in the community and just enjoying the quality of life that we're blessed to live. Temperatures getting up to about 87 degrees out there today. We're going to have plenty of sunshine. Beautiful weather coming out nice and dry outside. Stay that way all the way through the afternoon. 64 for the overnight low tonight. Just get quiet out there again. Clear and cool conditions running into tomorrow. A little warmer as we approach the weekend, but ultimately a very sunny, very pleasant forecast over the next five days.